Hi, I'm Mark with Snap-on. In this video, we're going to go over the setup and operation of the HDQ, Snap-on Square Drive Hydraulic Torque Wrench. First, a couple of basics about the HDQ wrench. This type of wrench consists of a housing with a double-acting hydraulic piston that drives a ratchet mechanism with a square drive output. Hydraulic pressure is supplied to push the piston forward and turn the ratchet mechanism when the green control button is engaged. And when the button is released, oil flow is reversed, returning the piston to its starting position. Wrench direction is determined by the square drive position. If the drive is on the right, it's set up to turn to the right, or clockwise. When the square drive is on the left side of the wrench, it's set up to turn left, or counterclockwise. Drive direction can easily be changed by depressing the drive retainer button, removing the drive, and replacing it to the opposite side. Then insert the retainer. The reaction arm is used to keep the wrench from turning during operation. To adjust the reaction arm as needed, simply press the release lever, remove, and reposition. Reaction arms suitable for a wide variety of applications are also available. To operate the wrench, first choose the appropriate sized impact socket. Always use a retaining pin and ring to secure the socket. If you've been following the Snap-on Hydraulic Bolting System video series, you already know how to set up and operate your hydraulic pump and connect the hydraulic lines to the wrench. Be sure you have the hydraulic pump adjusted to the appropriate pressure by referring to the torque chart that came with your wrench. Next, attach the removable handle by threading it into the body of the wrench. Using the removable handle, place the wrench on the fastener with the reaction arm against a solid blocking surface. In this case, we're using the adjacent fastener. The reaction arm is a pinch point, so be sure to keep hands and fingers away from the area by using the handle to steady the wrench. The reaction arm should be positioned so that the wrench will stay in place during operation. Reaction forces should be as close as possible to the same plane as the torquing force. This will keep the wrench stable. You may need a backup wrench to keep the counter nut from turning. In this case, a hydraulic BTQ wrench is being used. With the HDQ and backup wrench in place and securely blocked, you can now start the hydraulic pump. When torquing a fastener, continue cycling the wrench until it stalls. Then engage the pump a few more times to be sure the fastener has been fully torqued to the desired value. The small lever on both sides of the wrench is used to disengage the ratchet if the wrench binds during operation. When loosening a fastener, the hydraulic pump can be adjusted to the maximum pressure of 10,000 PSI. In addition to the HDQ, Snap-on offers a variety of hydraulic pumps, torque wrenches, and other accessories. For more information about those tools, please check out our other product videos.